Hello again and welcome to our DCP Mindset channel. My name's Carol. We'll carry on today with the second part of types of clinical study designs, this time on experimental studies. Before we go right in, we'd like to remind you that for each classification or group of study design, there are different dimensions to it, and a good biostatistician will judge each study thoroughly on a case-by-case -case basis to identify the precise classification, but today we'll simplify these for you with a short overview. Stay tuned. Last time we talked about the first type of clinical study type, observational studies. The second type of studies are experimental studies. These are designed following an experiment with an intervention that means a planned treatment following a specific schedule that's the same for all patients except for one or very few key aspects. Sometimes it can be the treatment that differs between patients and allows for comparison, for example, a control group, and sometimes it can be different doses of the same treatment that allows for a comparison. On other occasions, in so-called uncontrolled studies, all patients are actually treated the same. There are different types of experimental study designs as well. That's first, clinical trials involving experimental therapy or intervention that's tested on a group of healthy volunteers or potential patients. Secondly, community trials involving a group of individuals from one community that are all or at least parts of them included in the trial. Lastly, field trials involve subjects without the disease and are conducted to assess preventive care of a drug or a treatment. The most common approach in experimental study designs are clinical trials, which can be conducted as randomized and non-randomized trials. The highest quality of evidence is generated in randomized clinical trials, where Patients or subjects are randomly allocated into different treatment groups like the investigational product and placebo or standard of care. This process of randomization is done using a computer, software or other methods. By randomizing treatment allocation, the outcome is more reliable as the decision is not influenced, while subconsciously or consciously, by the person allocating the treatment. Over here you can see an example of what we use as a computer software to randomize the patients. Within randomized trials, there's also the opportunity of not disclosing treatment allocation to the patient and or the investigator. Such trials are called blinded trials. This further helps ensuring that decisions are made without knowledge of the treatment and therefore will not influence the study outcome. In open-label studies, which do not have any blinding at all, single-blinded studies, where only the investigator is aware of the allocation of groups, or double-blinded studies, where both the patients and the investigators are not aware in what group they are, or there's even triple-blinded, where also a third party performing the measurements is blinded to the treatment allocation. In many cases, trials become more complex if you consider that you may or may not have a control group or the patients may receive one and then the other treatment, so-called crossover designs, or you could even have multiple doses and partway through the study you stop everyone but one. As you can see, we have several study designs and it can be challenging selecting the right study design for your clinical trials. Several things should be considered when designing a clinical study plan, such as defining the appropriate research questions or objectives, the type of randomization design, type of blinding design, the sample size, the number of sites, etc. Usually, there are several possible study designs for one study that have different advantages and disadvantages. What you do not want to have is a bad trial design, as most errors and technical failures in clinical trials arise due to the improper selection of clinical trial designs and are extremely hard, if not impossible, to fix after the trial has started. In addition, the clinical trial design selection will have a strong impact on the cost and time associated with the clinical trials. For help on designing the right study design, connect with the right team of biostatisticians and medical experts. Until next time, goodbye. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see it.